uh, today we will uh, see windows 11 download problems and how to check if everything is up to date for your install or not so i am uh, going to windows 11 download the official windows site for check the uh, minimum requirement for getting this update okay go going down and uh, there is the button uh, not this one yeah write this on uh, check for compatibility and click on this download app after download install and then open it okay you can now check if your uh, PC uh, ready for update or not my PC is not so I have to check what is the problem and uh, how i can fix or change if anything need to change so uh, down there these are the requirements i will make a note so uh, graphics should be uh, 12 api and the wddm should be two point uh, up system requirement a system framework should be this secure boot should be enabled and then uh, TPM should be version 2 now see uh, make a note giving a heading uh, making this uh, just because I want to see if everything uh, okay or not so I can mark them the framework should be uh, UEFI and the TPM should be uh, 2.0 version yeah by the way windows 11 is not released yet but uh, we can see is if our device ready or not so when they uh, release it uh, we can directly get the access okay so uh, now uh, we want to see our uh, graphics driver is up to date or not uh, minimum uh, meet the requirement or not so uh, go to run oh, sorry it's too fast uh, run and then uh, I'll give the comment in uh, description if you can see write this comment okay and then uh, uh, go to the display from the menu bar now we can see the uh, WDDM version my is 2.4 so uh, we can make a tick mark if we pass our requirement or not I'm copying the mark this mark is not available in my keyboard right now that's actually check mark okay so uh, we need to check if our uh, direct x enable or not uh, direct x uh, 12 up or 12 down so go to uh, this PC click on manage go to device manager display adapter adapts and uh, I have two drives uh, I'm going with the Intel because this is on the top just search for the specification
my graphic card is uh, HD graphics 620 so I am searching for this go to tick power up and search for the uh, direct direct X okay I'm exp uh, yeah so uh, here it is it's 12 but we can see uh, more if we uh, scroll down graphic fixer is 12.1 uh, 12 dash on so uh, this on also check okay so now we will go for uh, what which one should I go first let's see the TPM version go to command command from type tpm dot msc and check the version it's 2.0 it's checked uh, now we should check our system framework We can go to CMD run as administrator type CD space CD uh, C yeah uh, just uh, follow my comment uh, I write it wrong way Oh, sorry uh, it should be not the dot I have to fix it yeah now it should work yeah and the second code is set up act dot log access denied okay we have another option we can do can uh, skip this one there is easier version easy way system information go to system information and uh, check the bios mode my one is uefi and now we have to check uh, is our device uh, secure boot enabled or not we have to go to bios for this uh, I will show you how to go to BIOS and fix it if it's not enable. Okay, so uh, let's see if our secure boot in enable or not. So uh, this is the Lenovo uh, laptop. So things may be changed for different laptop. Uh, I'm talking about the BIOS. I'm going to BIOS setting. Okay, so just follow what I am doing. Okay, then go to troubleshoot, advanced option, UEFI, and then just simply restart. Here uh, on the top menu go to security go down secure boot you can see it's a disable in my uh, laptop so I have to enable it how can I do uh, just uh, look at the down f5 f6 I have to click on f5 it's enabled now and I have to f10 I have to click on f10 yes it will be 
I'll restart now. Okay, now our uh, secure board is installed. Uh, so, uh, secure board is up now. Uh, almost everything is done here. Let's uh, do restart your PC and then uh, open PC health checker again. And then uh, check click check now but I'll recommend first uh, do uh, restart your PC and uh, probably I think I'm sure that uh, it will be work so uh, just follow uh, all the command and everything will be okay after um, you enable for uh, Windows uh, you are ready for Windows 11 you have to wait until they release you will get it where you will uh, get it from check update check for update to go there and click check for update every day uh, you can uh, see when it up here and just simply download it and install Okay, thank you and uh, don't forget to subscribe.